Hey guys, this is the Conway Kit 510 car battery tester, charger, and the repairing tool. And this is the box that they're coming with. Also, here we have the user menu, which is in five languages. And there's a charging cable. So we can see this is the main unit. You just need to plug this one into here when you need to charge. And connect this one to your car batteries. So I'm going to show you step by step about how this is working. Connect this to the negative and this one to the positive. You see the unit is light on. And we see there are five options. One is to check, it's for the battery tester. There are four buttons here. We have a charger and this is a fault. So you can navigate it and we can see this uh, in vehicle, we can navigate this to battery test and we can check the regular faucet and the CCA. The CCA will according to your batteries. So this is a 425 CCA. We adjust this one to the 425. Click OK. So you see this is a good battery with the SOH 100% healthy and also the charging is 98% resistance. So there are other function of this uh, in vehicle battery test. We have the cranking test which is for testing the battery starting system. And turn off the engine before press the enter. And now we will start the engine. So you see the RPM is detected and we have the cranking is low because there's some charging problems. And next we see the charging test. You can see there's a ripple test here which is showing the ripple and we see the difference between them. So we increase the RPM, increase the RPM to 205 and keep it conditions. So we we'll see here, we have the charging is normal, and you have the ripple which is here with the voltage that has volts result. So here we will show you K510 repairing and charging and some other features. So we have this unit here. You will have this plug. So you just need to connect to the AC power. So we first we need to connect this red to the positive and then back to the negative. So it has the protection even you connect this with check. We use this to check the status of this battery. And yeah, this good battery with SOC 96 and SOH 92. And you can also see in the setup if you have some language problems, you can switch to eight languages, like to the Dutch. I will switch it back to the English. So after that, you just need to connect this to your AC adapter. Five function here about the repair. So please make sure the battery is disconnected with the vehicles. So you can see the battery is starting to repairing it. So you can just leave it or just um, wait for a minute. So if you have this like wrong connect, this will be turned on like this red to the negative. You can also see when you start to do the repair, if it gives you error and this will be blink, which means your connection is wrong. So let's put it back here. And you can start to repair. And this is green. So you can also use it to charge. And meanwhile you hear this fan is started working 
and you see it's already 90% which is the same as we checked before and this is the current which is the charging voltage we have a temperature compensation this is the wind this is summer mode here So as you can see here, it's already been charged to 100% and the current will be down to the 1 amps, it's very low and the charging voltage will be 13.35 and we'll exit, you will hear it and then we'll use the check function to check it out of vehicles to verify if the battery has been fully charged. So you can see here, the SOC already been charged to 98%. So after around 5 minutes charge, let's check again about the SOC. SOH increased by 1%, so it's really important for this to work.